Hi everyone, Chuck's back. I'm looking at this, the HST NS PL14. What are we doing with it? A few moments later. I'm going to short those two across with a 500 ohm resistor. You can use anything between 300 and 600. I think I did this. This is an old one, totally different. This is a. Uh, What's this one? The DPS 750RB. Uh, that has worked like a work workhorse the whole time. This one, I'm going to use my Starlink. It's going to be fused. I'm going to put a fuse through it to fuse it to stop it from going over 10 amps. And yeah, this thing can. This thing is a bit of overkill. It can do 38.3 amps on the 12 volts, but when it starts up, you'll probably get anywhere between 10 and 15 amps on the dish, on the dishy, as they say. Uh, we might put some screws in there. We might not. We might put another plug on this. We might put a fuse. Then we put a plug into it so that we can plug, unplug it real quick if we need to. If we're letting the smoke out, as we do on this channel sometimes, and yeah we'll keep working on it so i've just tinned that off down the bottom here you can see they're tinned and that's the resistor i've used i've used a 500 ohm or close to 500 ohm resistor could be a, it's a 470 but it's reading 500 so 470 yeah that's what it's reading isn't it so we're going to get on to this now this is our we're going to see if it turns on and we're going to go ahead Okay, everyone, you need to take these three screws out, that one as well. And because it's clipped in, you've got a clip there, it'll come off, but you will need to undo this. Uh, might have to do that one. And definitely, you'll need to undo these three screws here to get to the main board. If you're adjusting this for 13.5 to 14 volts, I'll leave a image of what you meant to do there now i know other people have covered this and it has been covered to death by a nice german guy i'm just doing it in english so that if i need to do it again i can look for it okay now i was going to show you to check the voltage negative on the left positive on the right this one works for a couple of seconds and dies i have a sneaking suspicion that fan is stuffed on it i bought it from a guy who said everything was working but in a server and i stripped it down anyway onto each side and then i will put a connector on it to go to my dishy and i'm thinking i'm going to use this as opposed to some of because i can get a blade switch blade fuse in there and uh, sort that out now later on I will be making a 3d case for these now this one I will repair uh, it will probably need a new fan I'm having a guess it's a fan uh, because it goes for a little while and then dies or it might need a couple of caps put in it so I might open it and have a quick look for you guys so and girls so you can see what okay going. so I've got this one apart I haven't seen where the problem is. Have a quick look. So we've got our, I think it's a high and the low setting for um, over voltage protection there, over here. Now that was covered with a bit of uh, tape, which is a good idea. Now right next to this chip here, uh, which is probably a switching chip, which uh, changes the pulses for your voltage out, but it should be set because you've got no very not much ver uh, variation so you've got that resistor up the top there above next to the number two right there now you can remove that and put a link in there and then just that that's one way of doing it the other way of doing it is to put a resistor which i'll show you down to pin 13 down the bottom here which is a great idea i'd say this is your current control um, don't quote me on that, but I'm having a guess it is. And not sure what the other um, pot is for. If anyone knows, leave me a comment. So here we go. We're looking inside. 
these caps look pretty pretty good because they're very standardized I come back here the only thing I couldn't get was any fan cutting through here so I might try and find a fan if I've got one in the drawer and log it um, pop it in there now I'm looking in here just having a quick look and you've got some very good ceramic capacitors in here a couple of ceramics and a couple of these ones up here are beefy I'd say they'd be about five kilovolts there's about three of them there um, yeah and then you've got the big cap here now that could be going as well oh and we've got a friendly everyday spider that actually lives here what the hell are you doing in my home he's saying it's a beautiful little spider isn't he yeah we're gonna let him go we'll let him go down here hopefully he's off on his new journey i didn't hurt him um anyway and cover pop that back over the top this is the one i'm going to be using secondary we'll okay so i'm using a couple of xt60s and I've used this surgical clamp to hold the two wires together and to remove the heat from my heat shrink because it's so close. And that'll hook that up. I'm going to put a 10, it's got a 20 in it at the moment. So I'm going to put a 10 amp fuse in. And then I'm going to hook up exactly the same way the other side. So I've hooked these right around. There's a piece of wire that goes both sides so you get full current off it if you need it. I doubt if we'll ever need it with a dishy, but it's there and it's got a 10 amp fuse to protect the dishy. All right, and then it goes, this goes into a buck boost converter. So this is only for a home use situation. I know you guys probably say, why don't you just go and buy the thing off Star Starlink? Well, one little interesting thing about that is I've heard that it's blown up a couple of modems. So I am not having a go at anyone that designed this but I think this is an easier way of doing it for myself okay so this is a Chinese power supply 12 volts which I'm not going to use and they've hooked it all up it was hooked up for some sort of vending unit and I got it out of it now I'm not sure what they're worth but it's very dangerous to have your negative and positive not now I always crimp these things first I pulled it apart and pulled it pulled the sides apart I use a pair of those and a pair of flat tips to get them apart and then I solder them not a very good soldering job probably needs a good cleanup uh, but that's what I do and that'll be a finish for this I'll hook it up and see if it's going to go with uh, my dishy setup okay this is meant to be five amps I'm starting to think that this isn't five okay everyone I'm working on my power supply everything's working it's been working for a couple days now uh, i've hooked that in the middle there i'm going to clean that off in a minute i've just cut a hole in the wall to get the power down and i'm running this up into the roof to go to a server in my roof which is quite a large server it's actually a um dell 710 i think it is um, this uh, server rack one um, going into the roof <laughs> I need to clean this up a lot more now all the dust from the roof um, previous owner put uh, soundproofing in the walls so what do I do to get through it I use a piece of conduit to push it down out of the way and um, yeah that worked really well and so this is going to be a five porter sitting down there five porter it's going to sit up there against the wall and yeah this is pretty good Made in Australia, cable made in Australia. I bet you've never seen that before. Look at the thickness of this stuff. Okay, comment if you still get cable from Australia. From this company. Looks like a German company, Germany, German name, cable name. Frozen, I can't spell it, Frozen, I can't pronounce it. Anyway, everything working? <sighs> Yesterday I got, I think it was almost three, 300 megabits download and 20 upload. I was pretty impressed with this little baby. 
yeah so the reason i'm doing this is i need those to connect to my shed still and if this doesn't work i'm going to run it to the switchboard and i'm going to get me i'm going to ask me son-in-law who's an electrician to come and wire it off anyway catch on the next one and hopefully you've seen how i've put the mount on the roof so yeah that could have been cleaned up a lot more but because of this cable i can't terminate and that would be a good idea if we terminate up there i might talk to the guy that actually invents this got onto him the other day now this is one of the best systems i've ever seen you need decent power that's a given so go look for that company and wherever he's selling it on uh, amazon um, they come from China, but they say they come from uh, America. That's fine. He needs the money. He's done the design. He's done the work. Please support him. He is fantastic. I'm going to say it straight away. There's a cigarette lighter over there for another extra bits and pieces I'm going to plug in. But yeah, look at this. Got them all set up. Really, really happy with this. I'd like to have gotten a 19 volter to just plug into that and have a nice, another little bay up the top so I can put my servers on there. That's my home assistant.